Well, economic news for you. A lot of changes happening in the malls in our area. As we told you last month, Tanglewood Mall is up for sale. And then earlier this year, Liberty University bought a stake in River Ridge Mall. WS host tends to not to talk to some shop owners and an economics professor about how these changes could impact what you see when you shop in the future. Tanglewood Mall in Roanoke County is going through a lot of changes. Suit City has been here since 2001, and the owner says he's been through all the ups and downs. When we came here in 2001, it was a pack, but now people are leaving. Not only is Tanglewood Mall going through a transition, but other malls in our area are too. The New River Valley Mall has a new owner, and Liberty University bought a stake of River Ridge Mall. Recently, the village of Martinsville, previously Liberty Fair Mall, was redeveloped into an open concept. We talked to Michael Enns, an economics professor at Roanoke College. He says malls won't go away, but in order to thrive, they have to reinvent themselves and make people want to visit them. Well, I think malls will continue to reinvent themselves. We've seen an increase in the number of outlet malls. There, they're specializing in, you know, reduced priced uh, goods. He also says open concept malls like Tower Shopping Center, where people can access stores from the outside, are getting more popular for convenience and cost. One of the main drawbacks of an enclosed mall is you have a a lot of different spaces that they, they have to be heated and, and so those are additional costs. It's unclear if whoever buys Tanglewood Mall will do the same thing but Roanoke County has said it wants a Tanglewood area to include open space concepts as well as residential and other development but the vision won't gel until a new buyer emerges. In Roanoke, Kananda Rochita, WSLS 10.